The sequel to A Prairie Home Companion isn't as well known. And that word is Martini! Eh, he's just mad that he spent three hours trying to make pancakes without realizing the oven wasn't turned on. really a plot against George Peters, but I'll admit it might have looked that way. You'd think nobody had ever tried to murder him before. We had just been in our new house two weeks, and I was still ecstatic over everything, especially my dream kitchen. Well, how do you like it? There's only one word for it. Crappy. Terrific. <laughs> you know, I'm so proud of it, it's almost indecent of me. I may just walk around in here naked. Off. Week from Friday night. Well, you go ahead and be indecent. Gal's got a right to enjoy her first housewarming party. Sure wish I was having one. You having many people? Well, not a mob, if that's what you mean. I mean, it is our the first key party. Crawford, the Slagles, the Martins, and a couple of others. Hey, why so sad? And this isn't the first time I've noticed it. Oh, nothing, really. Do you ever feel, you know, not, not so fresh? Jane girl. Whatever it is, I've got just the cure for it. Booze! There's a sensational sale going on at Watson's. A new hat would be the ideal tonic for you. I'm going down this afternoon for a small spree. How about coming with me? No, I wish I could, but it's just impossible. I'll never find yeah, a hat as yeah, nice as Linkara's. Remember, I haven't got your dream kitchen to make things easier. Mine's strictly the nightmare type. Rotting carcasses, blood and oozing George from the walls, and the garbage disposal oh, isn't working. So talk, and, and not with any real enthusiasm. About moving, you mean? We've looked at a couple of older houses, but that's no improvement. We've got an older house. Bonnie and Clyde's death house. If only there was some way of really selling George on the idea. The fifth freedom, maybe. Freedom from unnecessary drudgery. Freedom to go shopping when the urge hits you. Believe in freedom, in love and fortune. And no all we need I'm is small. a better kitchen. Goodbye. My mother's been quite ill in Cleveland, and I've been thinking about taking the weekend off to visit her. Something about yeah, a hellmouth opening up happens a few times I'll a year. I'll show you a couple of my prized beauties. This setup makes any day wash day for me. Just finished sending the dog through. And I can do my drying in any kind of weather with a gas dryer. It couldn't be easier. Boom! It's completely automatic. I remember seeing this washer in the magazine ad. I saw it oh, in the magazine too. ad, in, in magazine. Isn't there a little colored guide light that follows the operation through the various stages? Yes. I know exactly what's happening. I spent hours I staring even have to at watch it. A clock. Wait a minute. You say you're going to visit your mother this weekend. You know, Janie, my girl, this might prove a very fortunate trip for you. If you're in the but old lady's the will, I Don't mean. Don't get too far ahead in your housework. Now, why should you have to lay out everything all nice and ready for George and Jimmy, down to the last egg and can of salmon? Oh, no, I couldn't. I, I'd have to make things easy for them. After all... After all you've been going through, this might be the awakening for friend George. Then we'll start the burning our bras dogs. and talking about how crappy women are portrayed in comic books. It's good to be left all alone with Jimmy for two or three days in your kitchen. <laughs> yeah! Well, Jane finally got off for Cleveland. Still not too certain she was doing right by leaving George and Jimmy by themselves. Even though George was absolutely sure they'd get along just fine. That's what he said, just fine. Two hours later, the fire department arrived at George's house. Now, uh, let's see. Baking soda, cocaine, and salt. Yeah, this will make a great pizza. Of course, when you leave a man to his own devices, he's apt to think of something fancy, like curried chicken with rice. Curried chicken with rice? But Truly, he's case, living like a George king. George not only should have done a little more thinking about his recipe, 
but should have kept his eyes on the stove as well. Now, if he had just let his rice simmer instead of boiling, but frankly, my I God, <laughs> what's the water doing? My white chromosomes completely unprepared me for this. Well, maybe it was the mess, and maybe it was just the temperature outside. Or maybe it was the durian juice he squeezed into his curry. A nice, icy lemonade would be just right. That being a man, I am completely incapable of pulling out an ice cube tray. Uh, you win this round, Ice Cube Tray, but the war is not over! What am I gonna eat? What's with this ice tray here? There's no, there's no ice in it. Oh, I guess I forgot to fill it. That's it, Jimmy, get the belt! Sometime you might ask George, how far is a mile? He would tell you it's the distance from his sink to his backyard garbage pail. Man, it took forever to get all of Jimmy's body parts in here. Now, like many men tackling a problem, George was very efficient. The presence of breasts prevents women from being efficient. Two meals at a time. Oh, so hard to clean all the blood off. Sure, you can use it! Hey, here's a crazy idea. Move your arm, dumbass! Here, Dad, let me knock some sense into you. You gotta let the rats know you're coming in so they can unlock it. Jimmy, you're gonna find this hammer inside your skull tonight. <laughs> you know, I'm getting the impression that the problem has less to do with husbands and more to do with George. Jane had been away for all of two and a half days, but the way she was welcomed back by George, you'd think she'd been gone a month. Uh, honey, I may have murdered our son a few times. I made sure to bury him in the pet cemetery, though. Well? <clears throat> Oh, we'll be there early enough. The others aren't coming till seven. Ah, if you insist, honey. I just don't know how many more bodies I can fit in that garbage disposal. Look, I still have a couple of little things to do, but it'll only take a minute or so. Mmm, your famous sweet potato casserole. Yeah, only this time with shredded uh, crab sorry, instead of orange. There's all woman-y in here. There's a damn kitchen. There's a fire there. Do some last-minute shopping for me. Oh, hey, I almost forgot the big news. I went out to Pond Ridge with Helen Baker today, and I broke 50 for the first time on nine holes. Wow, can that ever be reinterpreted in horrible, horrible ways. big shindig are staring you in the face, you still had time for golf? Nothing to it. With this kitchen, it's a breeze. Come on over, look at some of the evidence. By the way, did you know that this kitchen won an award from the Woman's Home Companion? It's won Worst Kitchen Ever three years running. And really, they thought of everything. Knobs for her oven? They really did think of everything! I just love the convenience and modern styling of this built-in gas range. Hey, Alice, aren't you going to light the oven? I don't have to. It's completely automatic. Five you hours later, they're still waiting for the thing to start. Equal parts of grape jelly and light mustard, blended and simmered. Grape jelly and mustard? Ew! Anyone care for a spot of grapefruit juice to tide you over? Yeah. Incidentally, one of the things I love about this refrigerator is that it turns out ice circles and puts them in a bowl for you. All by itself. Continuous ice circles. Yeah? Wow, I really don't really? care. 
Aren't you taking a chance of staining that counter with fruit juice? No danger with Formica. Won't ever stain. Oh, that's the greatest help, George. Hanging the things you need where you need them. <laughs> Shut In up. Fact, this whole kitchen was designed for efficiency and convenience. That's what I like. Solid and sturdy as steel. Mm, and so easy to keep clean, too. Hey, what's this? Hmm? Oh, automatic flower dispenser. Very handy. Here, Who looks at their with. kitchen and says, you know what I need? Oh, An automatic yeah, flower yeah, dispenser. Yeah, we're a little early. Oh, that's good. I've been showing them around. Oh, yeah. Good, darling. Hello, Jane. Hi. Oh, Don, will you get rid of these for me while I sort this stuff? Well, you might have pressed old George into service. Here, come on, George, and I'll show you how it works. This is really for me, chum. What is it? Well, it's a simple gas disposer. Wow, that really disposes it's of your gas. All the way the uh, brightest, shiniest bride could use this gizmo. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's great. And that also goes for this uh, automatic water heater. Mm -hmm. Two temperatures from the same tank at the same time. Now, uh, this pipe here... Doesn't work. It, uh, ...gives you hot water for the bathroom and for the kitchen sink. But the other pipe... Contains acid. You ...really hot water for clothes and for dishes to make them really clean. Wow. Both any time you want. Hey, look, um, George, if you're really interested in this layout, the uh, man who set it up for us is a good friend of ours. Ed I know Steve. a guy, George. His name is Vinny. Just here, don't right? ask any questions and we'll hook you up nice and good. So I got the box and it was labeled Fragile and had this awesome lamp inside. I want to say is that Don's little suggestion turned into a rather interesting and provocative conversation. Something about and inviting him to a bathhouse with only with men there. Ideas. It certainly looked like progress was being made when we peeked in on them. No, 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 the lamp is shaped like a leg, see? Well, that's the way it worked out. And as I mentioned before, it wasn't a plot against George. It was just a divorce. You think Jane and I would do something like that, do you? Honey, what does red rum mean? Well, folks, I'll leave it up to you whether the gals tricked me or not. Epilogue. But that's another story. This new dream house is a happy ending to our story. Turns out that we all died there after I discovered a bunch of 8mm snuff films. Come true. The best and most reputable builders in your area are here to help you. They're standing by right now in the booth sponsored by your local home builders association to discuss plans and prices with you. And they'll only gouge the prices a little bit. now can lead to a whole lifetime of happiness. Happy home building. Well, it was a good thing they included that ending bit, otherwise I might have... Um... Um... Uh, 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 anyway, the moral of the story is, women are plotting conspiracies behind your back even as we speak, so make sure they never leave the kitchen. A word to the wives!